To find the molecular geometry for BBR3, we'll look at the Lewis structure. And note that in this Lewis structure, boron only has six valence electrons. And that's okay, boron needs six for a full outer shell. So this is the correct structure. According to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, those three bromine atoms, they're gonna spread apart from each other as far as they can while still staying bonded to the boron. And that's gonna give us the molecular geometry for BBR3. It's gonna look something like this. We have the boron there in the center, and then the bromines, those are all around it. Because we have the three bromines and they're all in the same plane, we call this trigonal planar. So the molecular geometry for BBR3 is trigonal planar. We can also though use the AXN notation to check that and make sure we have the right molecular geometry. A, that's gonna be the boron in the center of the structure there. X, that's the number of atoms attached to that boron. We have three bromine atoms, so it's gonna be a three there. And N, that's the number of non-bonding electron pairs. All of the electrons around the boron, they're involved in chemical bonds, so we can just forget about N. You could have memorized that AX3 is trigonal planar, or if you had a table available, you could look it up. So as we go down our table, we have AX2, and right below it is AX3, which is trigonal planar, and the bond angles are 120 degrees. If we go back to our three-dimensional structure, we're talking about this bond angle right here, that's 120 degrees, and we also have the same bond angle here, and then this angle over here. So that's the molecular geometry for BBR3, and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.